Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Things. In this video, we will understand what is nesting in dictionary. Let's get into the computer screen and let's get started. So now I am inside my VS code and uh, we will see what is nesting in dictionary. Okay, so nesting means uh, we need to write a dictionary within another dictionary. Okay, so if you have a complex kind of data and you want to store that data inside a dictionary, then nesting comes into the picture. So we will see what is nesting and how we can uh, create a nested dictionary here. Okay, so for that, first of all, I will create a dictionary. And before creating a dictionary, I will explain you another thing that is what kind of data we are going to store. So here I want to store student details of a class. That means uh, the roll number of a student and a class and uh, subjects and uh, marks, examinations, all the details. Okay. So for that, I will create a dictionary here. Let's say I will give the name as uh, student underscore uh, details and uh, is equals to it's a dictionary okay so now here i want to store uh, the student details so let's say the key will be roll number and the value is another dictionary okay and inside this dictionary i will store all the uh, necessary details of the students okay so i will write here as uh, let's say the name of the students and i will write here name and uh, let's say the name is uh, abiswajit and uh, then I will uh, give comma and uh, then I want to store let's say subjects okay uh, subjects and the subjects uh, this is a key okay so this subjects is a key and in the value I will write a list here okay because I want to store here list of the subjects so let's say the subjects may be math and then uh, let's say physics and uh, then I'll write here let's say English uh, G L I S H okay so English now these are the subjects and this is the name so you can observe here this one is the roll number and it is the key and it is the value of the student dis details dictionary okay and this value itself is a dictionary okay and inside this dictionary we are storing the data in the form of key and value okay so this the, here the subjects is a key and this list is a value and uh, now let's say i want to store the examination details so i will write here exams and uh, now uh, i will uh, take another dictionary here and inside it i will specify the exam details here okay let's say there are many exams like term 1 term 2 term 3 okay so i can specify here let's say i'll write here term 1 exam is the key and the value a list and uh, inside it i will specify a dictionary and inside that dictionary i will write here let's say uh, math and in math let's say the score is 45 and uh, i'll write here the full mark also uh, let's say fm fm means full mark and the full mark is let's say 50 okay so that means the student is scored 45 out of 50 in math okay so similarly i can uh, specify another subject here by writing a comma here and inside it let's say i will specify uh, physics and uh, the mark let's say 42 and uh, the full mark of this physics will be 50 okay and uh, this kind of things we can write inside this list so you can observe here uh, this exams is a key and this is a dictionary that means the value is another dictionary and inside that dictionary this term one is a key and this list is a value okay and inside this list we have created another dictionary here this is a dictionary and this is another dictionary okay so each element of this list is a dictionary okay so you can add so many marks here and uh, let's say i will write here in the term one i i can write here also term two let's say i will copy here and uh, i'll paste it below and uh, i'll uh, rename it as term 2 okay so this is term 2 examination and in math let's say uh, 41 and in physics let's say uh, 35 okay so like that you can specify more 
examinations here like term 1 term 2 term 3 term 4 okay so this is a dictionary okay student details dictionary so if i copy this roll number one and the details of this roll number one and uh, i will paste it here i will give a comma and i will paste below and now i will uh, make this one to two okay so now you can see here uh, we have stored the data of two students the student having role number one and the student having role number two here okay so in this way we can store multiple uh, data inside this dictionary okay here we are writing a dictionary within another dictionary and a list within a dictionary and a dictionary within a dictionary so that's why it is called as a nesting or nested dictionary okay so if you want to access any particular data then you can do that if i want to access the name of the role number one then i can do that also so for that i will write a print function here and inside this print function i will write uh, uh, student details of one okay student details of one of name so i will simply write here name so you can see here one means the key one and inside this key this is another dictionary and we need to uh, call any value uh, by their corresponding key okay so i want to display the name so that i will write here name so let's run this file if i run this file then you can see what happens now i'll run this file then you can see it is simply printing Bisojit. okay so that means it is printing the name here okay so let me clear the terminal and uh, i'll show you another thing here if you want to access any kind of data let's say i want to access the subjects or let's say i want to access the term 2 exam here so for that i will simply write here uh, uh, student details of one of exams exams okay then you can see here uh, this is the exams and then it is term 1 and term 2 so i will specify here term 2 okay so i will just write here term 2 and now if i run this file then you can see if i run this file then you can see it is printing the term 2 result here okay so if you uh, specifically print this math result or uh, physics result then you can do that here also uh, let's say i will write here uh, you can observe here this is a list okay so list means this is a element and this is another element so in list we can access the elements by their index so if i write here term 2 of 0 then it will print only this dictionary okay so uh, now i will run this file then you can see it is printing uh, this only this dictionary having math okay and uh, now if i instead of zero if i write here one and now i will run this file then you can see it is printing the dictionary having physics okay so let me clear the terminal so in this way you can access any particular data uh, which is present inside this dictionary okay and you can update any data also uh, let's say i want to update the our subject here let's say in place of math i want to update here in english uh, sorry in uh, chemistry or anything let's say i want to update this mark i want to update the math mark of this term one exam uh, 45 to let's say i want to do it 20 okay so how can i do that to do that i'll write here student details exams and uh, term one of term one of zero okay term one of zero because term one of zero is this dictionary and this dictionary of math okay so i will simply write here uh, i will simply write here a, a square bracket and inside that i will specify here uh, math okay and uh, i will remove this print statement and uh, now i will update uh, this math is equals to with the value let's say 20 okay so now if i print uh, the value of uh, let's say i'll print up to this okay i'll copy here and i'll paste inside this print function and uh, 
now if i run this file then you can see let's run this file then you can see math 20 and full mark is 50 so you can see here you can update the value any value of this dictionary by writing this kind of expressions okay so this is all about nesting in dictionary this so i'll clear the terminal and uh, you can see here uh, this is a dictionary but we are storing some complex kind of data inside this dictionary okay so if you are writing an application where uh, you encounter uh, the data which are in very complex format or the relationship between the data is very complex then you can use this method also you can use nested dictionary or nested list also there okay so this is it for now we will continue from this onwards in our next video thank you for watching this video